Hello from sunny Manchester. Um, I'm going to show a way of blending a set into a ring. Now, and all things card, I'm sure you'll appreciate. There's a million ways of doing different things, but this is just a simple way. Um, so what we need to do is create the curve that's on the top of the shank. Now you could do this on the model using um, the dupe edge command. Um, click round the curve and then join it together and you could use that as a base point for for doing this um, so we'll start <coughs> with a rectangle from a center point pop that on F on F4 or world origin um, click rounded um, so I'm just sort of guessing at this but something like that uh, another rectangle um, from three points from the quad to the quad to I don't know something like that maybe um, and then if we mirror that around the world origin again um, if you press shift and it makes sure everything's square um, I'll tell you what I'll do we'll go into that um, I explode that select them from lines, select them lines and delete and then we'll join that all back together so that then um, is the shape at the top of the shank where the satins um, sat on um, or something like that, <laughs> it might not be quite right <laughs> but you get the idea, so now what we want to do is create um, the setting underneath bottom curve um, of where the girdle is um, again you can do that with um, with dupe edge or um, and then just click round it uh, so if we select that and we go into front um, press shift again to keep everything fat and just got something like that um, now what we need to do is um, draw another cross section in so it keeps its shape. So if we go from mid to quad there, like that. Um, actually, that's not worked, has it? Um, let me just have a look at that. That should be locked. So I don't know. Right. So let's try that again. So we'll go a line from the mid of that to the quad of that. There we go. Now what we could do with doing is putting another cross section in because if we don't and we just loft that to that then that shape will go all the way up to the top. So if we pick a circle and then click on project on the O snaps F4 um, and then what that does is make sure that that circle stays planar. Uh, so, what we'll do on that line um, that we've drawn, we'll go into the mid snap. So, if you can see the, the white line that appears, I can't really show it. Um, that's where the project's working and it's projecting down. Um, so, if we click that there, even though that's there, I've turned the project off now. If we go into this, if we move this, transform, move from the quad to the mid, that'll line up exactly on that um, point there, we're exactly uh, lined up, which is what we want. Uh, now, if we go into that rebuild, it's got 24 points on it, degrees 3, so if we cancel that, Oops, cancel that. Right, so if we run the rebuild again by pressing enter, click on that. Uh, that's got 8 points, but we want 24 in it, which is good. Same on that, 8 points, 24, which is good. Now it's got the same amount of curves in those as that, so everything will join up nicer. Oh, so they tell me. So we want to loft that to that to that. It's important to line these up 
Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to the mid there. The mid there. And then... Um, there. Okay. So everything's lined up. And up. Uh, uh, no, that's come there, which is good. If we want to shaded, gives us some idea. Now it, you can change um, the shape of things with the style. Um, quick preview. That's a sort of a sharp and not as plump. Um, straight sections. So I think we'll just go for normal for now. Uh, and then. So, uh, what what you could do with that now is um, cut out, uh, explode the setting, uh, get rid of the old one of this, put this new one in, and then pierce your shapes from the sides again. If you extruded the curves at there, then how would that do that? Uh, but that gives you an idea anyway. Um, but you need to watch for obviously that this is right. I mean, it's difficult to do um, to sort of envision it. But I hope it's of some use to you that anyway. I think one too much. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, mate. Bye bye.